Chick-fil-A. Love Chick-fil-A. I could do that. Have you passed a Chick-fil-A when there's nobody in the in the in the drive-thru? No. Never. Never. Never happens. It's always Except a on Sunday. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> All right, Marcus, I thought about how nice you said the weather was gonna be as I was looking outside the gym on the treadmill. Oh, yeah. Well, you look like the weather. Beautiful today, gorgeous, all whoa, that good stuff. Whoa, thank you. Yeah, right. yeah. Getting ready for Mother's Day. Yeah, you know, I right. hear it. Oh, yeah. I hear it at all, it. Uh, because it's true, too. But as we talk about current conditions out there, we have temperatures right around 78 degrees at the airport. It feels like 80 degrees, but overall, it's pretty nice out there. Winds out of the southeast at 9 miles per hour and visibility at 10 miles. So a pretty nice afternoon and evening out there. And when we take a look at temperatures across the city, a lot of us in the upper 70s. Inner Harbor, again, right around, right around 79 to 80 degrees. As we look toward Canton, right around 78 degrees. And then as we look toward Parkville, at 78 degrees as well. And across the region, looking toward the west, we see a lot of places in the upper 70s. Mount Airy at 78 degrees. Randall Sound at 79 degrees. Cockeysville at 79 degrees as well. And Jarrettsville at 75 degrees. And across the eastern shores, uh, we're noticing temperatures in those areas in the mid 70s and upper 70s as well. So it's very pleasant out there. And we still have some 80s on our map as we look toward Frederick and Hagerstown, but very pleasant across the state. We're also pretty dry, but that will be changing as the front starts to push in. So when we talk about those weather headlines, we are expecting clouds and isolated rain for tonight. Then we're expecting dreary conditions midweek, in particular for Wednesday with potential drizzle around, and then it's a Thursday with drizzle and then eventually rain showers moving through. But then as we look toward Friday, we'll have a cold front approaching, and that will bring us more chances for rain, but even storm chances as we head throughout the afternoon hours. But the radar again showing that we are dry. There was a spotty shower across parts of Virginia moving east. That has now dissipated. But as we look toward the north, we notice a lot more activity in this direction. And this is all along a cold front. And this cold front will be pushing south as we continue through this evening. And it should reach us by the time we head toward the overnight hours. And as that happens, we'll see more clouds moving into the area. We'll also notice isolated rain chances moving in. But at this point, this front does not have a lot of moisture with it. But as it sits nearby our region as we head through Wednesday, Day, that will keep clouds around and that will bring us a chance for maybe a spotty shower, if not a shower drizzle across the area. So as we head throughout the night, we see that cold front pushing south. You'll notice those winds moving out of the south or moving out of the north, heading south. And then you'll see just south of that front, you'll see those winds moving north. This is where the front is located by 3 a.m. And as we head toward 8 a.m., we're continuing with the clouds out there, winds out of the north and northeast, temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. And you'll see those spotty rain, shower, rain showers out there as well. And we're looking at more of that rain activity as a warm front then pushes back north on Thursday. But that brings us to what we are expecting as we head past Thursday. We are looking at a cold front that will eventually move in from the west, and this cold front will bring rain showers and, again, storm chances to the area. So if you have any plans to be outside Friday afternoon, Friday evening, be on the lookout for that. And then as we look past Friday into Saturday, we'll have more spotty showers out there as that front lingers nearby. And then by Sunday, we have an area of low pressure bringing a lot of rain to the area, and that's something we have to unfortunately look out for as we head toward Mother's Day. But as we take you to the seven day forecast. We do want to point out that clouds and damp conditions are on the way for Wednesday. We're looking at isolated rain showers by the time it gets to Thursday, even some storms out there and then wet weather into Friday and even into the holiday weekend. Hey, Bud Light is 